Greetings to you this day. This is Michelle Strickland. It's Monday, and I'm coming to you today with Conversation with Self, okay? I'm going to go over the PSA that I normally do on Sunday. I decided, you know, I, I, took, I, I switched my schedule up a little bit over the weekend, so I decided to do the uh, PSA number five for our Conversations with Self today. So what do you want to talk about today, Self? Well, Self... We're going to talk about human strength. Human strength, self? Yeah, self. Hang on a minute. Uh, self, have a seat, self, for a couple minutes. Get comfortable. I got cushions on my chairs. <laughs> I put cushions over my, my kitchen chairs. Okay, um... So what is what is strength, self? It's just about is it just about physical power or is there more to it? Join me as uh, we journey, you know, to explore and delve into the diverse ways human strength can be defined. Okay, wow, self, you're getting kind of kind of you know out there, aren't you? Well, look, I don't know, self. Let's 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 keep going. Physical strength. First, let's talk about physical strength. We often associate it with lifting heavy weights or running marathons, but remember, strength goes beyond just muscle. It's about determination, resilience, and pushing ourselves to achieve our goals. So, huh, that's interesting. Hmm, okay. Well, let's, what else you got, so? A person working at the gym lifting weights. Let's think about that for a couple minutes. Emotional strength. Emotional strength is another vital aspect of being human. It's the ability to handle life's challenges, staying optimistic in tough times, and showing empathy and support to others in need. Ah, oh, you mean strength? You can you you can be strong and use your mind, self. Sounds like it, self. Sounds like it. You can use your mind and be strong too. A person confronting a friend who is going through a difficult time. Think about that. A friend comforting. A person comforting a friend who is going through a difficult time. Wow, that's strength. Yeah, I can be self. I can, I can be strength. It can be. Use your mind. Okay? Mental strength. Mental strength is all about the power of the mind. It's adaptable. Solving problems creatively and maintaining focus even when, you know, facing adversity. You know, that's very important. That sounds like that's that's an important uh, thing to be able to know how to do, self. Yeah, self, it does. It does sound like it could be an important thing to learn how to do. Think about a student studying diligently for an exam. Think about that for a minute. Moral strength defines who we are as individuals. It's standing up for what's right, even when it's not easy, and holding on to our values with unwavering conviction. That's a strength, self. Yeah, self, that's a strength. You know, being bold and standing up and it's, you know, and facing people, you know, even when it's uncomfortable and, and it don't seem like anybody's on your side, but you really believe. That what you're standing for is the right thing, and you got all this opposition, but you stand up anyway when you're by yourself and you're standing up for what you feel is right, you know? Wow, self, that's pretty good. Yeah, I guess if you think about it like that, self. Yeah, yeah, that could be a strength. Think about a person speaking up against injustice. Think about what they could be going through. We've, we've seen. Examples of people that, that do that. Let's think about that for a second, few seconds. Wow. All the humanitarians out there standing up for the right thing, putting themselves in danger against societal norms for, and things that people usually, you know, think are the right thing, but really they're not. They're not. They're not good for people. But can you imagine those, how those people feel? Actually, I can, so... I can I know how they I know how they feel firsthand actually. Yeah, I know how that is. To 
be tormented, stalked, and harassed, and monitored 24 hours a day. Matter of fact, I do. I do. That's miserable. Uh huh. So, yeah, it can be a little bit, you know, because you don't know who's on your side. You don't know who the good guys are. You don't know who the bad guys are. You just know you have these people just stalking and harassing and watching you like you in some kind of fish bubble. I don't know how that is. Our connections with others are crucial in defining our social strength. It's about building meaningful relationships, fostering a sense of community, and lifting each other up. Yeah. That's the way it should be. Right, self? Yeah, self, that's the way it should be. But is it? Is it self? It's it's there. It's out there. But it's hard to find. It. It's, but there's people out there, you know, like that. Think about a group of people volunteering and helping in a community project. Have you ever done that, self? Yeah, I've done it several times, actually. I really have. What'd you get out of it, self? Most of the time, it was very um, fulfilling. All the time, it was fulfilling. Some of the time, it was it was it was real. It was it was comfortable, and sometimes it wasn't comfortable because it was dangerous. You know, you know, showing up for different events that unscripted and you know almost at the verge of riotous and that time's riotous so it was dangerous sometimes but we stood up people stood up for what was right you can go back in my videos and see it's from the beginning you know but it was fulfilling because people stood up for themselves okay Spiritual strength. Let's talk about that or think about that for a minute. Wow, that's pretty cool. When you think about it, there's nothing wrong with being spiritual. You don't have to be perfect. No one is to love God. You don't have to, you know. Everybody has their definition of what, what spirituality is to them, you know. Just be respectable, you know. That's where, you know, nobody can make you believe anything that you don't want to believe. And so, you know, if you're not hurting anybody, that's where I'm at with it. I'm going to I'm gonna believe how I want to believe, you know. But I don't want people to try to destroy me and hurt me because of my beliefs, though. Whatever that is, you know. I should be able to live with in peace and harmony without a lot of confusion and people coming at me.